I'm Sigmund Freud, and I'm Vincent Van Gogh, and today we'll be talking about the bird's nest assessment. Why Sigmund? What on earth is a bird's nest assessment? It is an art therapy task used to measure attachment security and learn about a patient's attachment experience. I mean experience. Attachment theory dates back to the work of John Bowlby, who ended up being a major influencer in the realm of psychotherapy. Ah, right. The assessment was created conjunctively by Donna H. Kayser in 1996 and then elaborated on more and thoroughly researched in 2003, again by Kayser and now by Sarah Deaver. It was created to be a less intimidating version of the kinetic family drawing, as you do not have to draw specific people, it leaves plenty of room for projection. The directive is simply draw a picture with a bird's nest. One simply draws a picture, I mean picture, excuse my slip, for a massive window into the subconscious. As a special treat, Vince and I will be demonstrating the task here today. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, Sigmund. These can be very personal. We don't always recommend them for freshly formed groups, let alone sharing with complete strangers on public television. Nonsense! It'll be fun! Almost anyone can do a bird's nest assessment, because almost everyone has some sort of attachment. It was intended for use with children, but research has proven that it is useful for a wide variety of populations. Today we'll be using eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, but as Mama Freud always used to say, it doesn't matter what size it is, so don't you worry one little bit, Siggy. Give your patients plenty of options in media. I will be using crayons, and Vincent will be using this penis, I mean pen, pen, because it's the only other art material I could find. I'm a famous painter, Sigmund. Well, as they say, Vincent, sucks to suck, make do. Normally a patient would be given as much time as they need to complete this task, but as this is an infomercial, we were doing the task in a few seconds. But keep in mind, as a therapist, you would listen for verbalizations and take note of body language. You could also take notice of what is being drawn first and the patient's approach to art making. Check for mood and affect regulation. Luckily for us, this is a pretty straightforward task. And the bird's nests are a symbol that is relevant cross-culturally. Oh my, drawing, 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 scribble, oh, gasp. Voila! They are complete. Take a look at mine. I'm no artist, but I did my breast. I mean, I did my best. I call it Breakfast with Mama. As you can see, this drawing is by a well-developed and normally attached person. Nothing sexual or worrisome here. The nest is well supported by this nice thick branch. Both mother and children are included in the drawing. One of the tiny birds would represent me and the other is my twin that I absorbed in the womb. Uh, the use and variety of colors is also a good indicator of secure and positive attachment. The dominant color here is still brown, which some research extrapolate as meaning an insecure attachment, but it's glitter crayon and the rest of the image is colorful, so that seems unlikely. But be on the lookout for defenses in the art, like denial and omission of body parts or wings. This is also a good time to pay attention to the developmental levels in the art, as well as the use of space and line quality. Now let's analyze Vincent's! Uh, we really don't have to do that. I insist! Ha ha ha! Look and see how sexual Vincent's is. These tiny branches are obviously a symbol of your own tiny protrusions. Tee hee! And the stars are like floating anuses! Hee hee hee! The feather on the bird's chest look like breasts. Nine breasts! Wow! And there's this branch reaching toward the face. It looks a little like a horn, maybe horny, yes? Literally none of that is accurate. Remember to be open to the patient's interpretation of their own work. Some therapists even have patients tell a story about their drawing as a means to further the projection. Fine, fine, fine. We don't have to talk about your obvious sexual frustration right now. The branch is holding the nest is much too small to support it. The nest would fall down at any moment. This tiny little bird is all by himself in the nest, and he's not attached to anybody. 
He's completely and utterly alone. And you only used one color, which means you are depressed and unattached. You only gave me one pen! Why does this bird only have one ear? Birds don't have ears. Is he hearing something? Or is the ear just another example of an orifice that leads back to your sexual frustration? Sorry, I couldn't hear that part. <sighs> oh, that's okay. It's about time for us to wrap up Anchoring. Let's recap. Kayser created the Bird's Nest Drawing, or the BND, as a way of gaining insight on a patient's attachment and relationships. It's a less intimidating creation of the family dynamic. The fact that it is only one drawing and fairly universal symbol makes it accessible to anyone. Thank you for joining us today, and happy Bird's Nest Drawing. Catch us next week, I mean catch us next week, for our new show, Sometimes Cigar is Just a Penis Mouth.